You feel like that experience is completely erased. I mean, you feel like these people don't even see you. Oh, and that's the importance of, you know, Wu and you know, all these cats. For me, I felt like, I felt seen. You know, Master Shilla, how's everybody doing, man? Welcome to the Keep It Above podcast, Blended Thoughts, man. What up? Oh, man, on this segment, man, we smoking on some Han Solo burgers. May the force be with you. <laughs> this is a real intergalactic forceful blunt right here. Oh, man, this shit is hitting right now. Hope everybody's getting their roll on just, a, just like us. And uh, we're going to just sit here blowing back after the podcast, and we're just going to sit here and have a little chronic conversation for a little bit where we give you an extra 10, 15 minutes of the content. Checking out on Showtime, the Wu-Tang Clan, Mike's the Men. Hot-ass fucking Doctor Series, four-part series. Yes, now, it got us thinking right now, and let's talk about all the greatest hip-hop groups of all fucking time, man. Yo, you got the lighter, man? Shazam! Thank you, my nigga. Off the rip, it depends, like... Like, like, I remember hip-hop's 40-plus years old, and there's a lot of groups. Yeah, yeah, it so, started with the Sugar Hill Gang. Mm-hmm. But, the, but the criteria is production, <clears throat> longevity, <clears throat> the whole overall body of work. Yes. Okay. And, more importantly, who has the most hits? Oh, yes, yes. Hits and classics. Yes. And Albums is up there, too. Yes. When you got a full body of work, like... An album from top to bottom, no skip. Yes. That's tough to beat. That is tough to beat right there. So, with that being said, NWA is up there. Yes, yes, yes. And plus, they spawned so many great <laughs> MCs yes. in careers. Like, yo, there's no Friday. <laughs> there's no Friday. Trilogy without Ice Cube. <laughs> you don't get Boys in the Hood without Ice Cube. Nope. <laughs> you don't get Death Certificate. No Vaseline? God yes. damn. America's Most Wanted. You don't got none of those albums without Cube. Dr. Dre is one of the best producers of all fucking time. Produced some of the best albums. This nigga survived four fucking decades of rap. And has fucking owned all of them. And shit. Uh, what is it? it? Has come up with some of the, with the best uh, fucking headphones ever. For real. And shit. Oh, who else? Uh, at that whole group. And MC Ren is a fucking savage, though. Lyrically, too. You ever listen to Too Hard Motherfuckers? <laughs> <laughs> they can sleep on Ren, but they can spit. And too Hard Motherfuckers. NWA spawned a lot of careers, man. There's no fucking uh, death row without that. No DOC. Yes. Yes. God oh, damn. Man, that album is hard, man. The no formula. Do it better? Yeah. Uh, That's one of them press play and leave it albums. Damn, what song, man? I forget the name of it, but it had that rock and roll guitar. Oh. That shit was so hard with the bass. Oh, oh my man. god, man. I forgot I know, the name of that song, that. man, but that shit was hard, man. Oh, uh, yeah. What else? Uh, oh, yeah, and they fucking, um, they pretty much started what's called rap. And gangster rap, in yeah. a way, in a way. Yeah, they, 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 they very huge. gangster rap started with PSK, but they put that shit on the map. Yeah, like, especially, like, Compton. Yeah. Compton, West Coast, like a lot of like New York niggas and East Coast niggas was like, oh shit, that's how they are on the other side. Mm-hmm. You know, like that's the closest to a plane ticket to L.A. that you go, that you was gonna get to. Yeah, with N.W.A. Hell yeah, and shit. I tell you what, in, a, in another one of them groups that was dope on the Mount Rushmore rap groups of all time, a tribe called Quest. Oh, damn! I was gonna bring them up too. Yes. Definitely, yo. They first three albums? Flawless. Crush, it was like, Allah came from heaven and said, here you go, world. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm going to give you these guys. Yeah. <laughs> yo, fucking, what is it? The Low End Theory, Midnight Baradas. It's between those two. I don't know, man, because they both play. I like the... Oh, uh, oh my God. Yeah. yeah. And Q-Tip is savage. Yeah. 
with, it, with production and the beat. I mean, production and beat. And, and the rhyme, the production, yo. It, yeah. Don't got a voice like him. Like, you know when he's on the mic, it's Q-Tip. Yes. You know. Yeah. You know it's Q-Tip. Like, yeah. some of them niggas got that voice. Like, DJ Quick. Yes. He got that voice. Like, you know it's Quick. Mm-hmm. Same thing with Q-Tip. Mm-hmm. Like, 100%. 100%. Fife Dog, underrated. Yes. Yes, yeah. Yo, for me, my favorite Fife Dog rhyme was Bugging Out. Oh, yeah. no, nah, that shit was dope. That it was, shit was it dope. seemed like that nigga just came in the studio, escalated it. Yo, you start. Yo, what the phone check? What to? What is this? Yo, it's just like, I... I feel like gravity. Never had a cavity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No more rhymes in the wine's got family. Yeah, 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 yeah that shit was odd. Um, that shit was odd. Let's see. Moving on. Oh, Outcast. Oh, I don't see. That's the thing. I count them as a duo instead of a group. I say group like three niggas is more. Oh, shit. That's not. Run DMC. I'm not doing like that. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. There's this EPMD. EPMD. What is that? A, but is that a duo? Yeah, but no, no, but it was three. Two MCs and DJ Scratch, they a group. Yeah, that's a group. You know what I'm saying? Members, yeah. I would say, I would say Outkast. I would say EPMD. Mm. Mm. Yeah, man. Because them first four albums is dead ass serious. And I mean that. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> them first four albums was fucking hard as fuck. Yeah. Uh, and they don't get enough credit. No, they don't. They don't do not get enough shine. Cause they use the funk. Is besides Dr. Dre? Yeah, but the, the East Coast. They use the funk. East Coast funk. Yeah, they use the funk good. Uh, let's see. And Eric Sermon is fucking really. He's responsible for Redman having like fucking three to four flawless albums. In a row. Who's funkier? That's Eric Sermon or Dr. Dre? Oh, Dr. Dre. That doggy style, man. That mm. Snoop album, The Chronic. What the album? Nah, that shit was hard. That shit was hard. Oh, oh, shit, man. I like his second album, too. What's man. dope, a doggy style or EPMD's second album or the first album? Oh, man, the listener's gonna have to fucking come up with that shit. Mm. Y'all, mm. y'all listeners gonna have to put that shit in the comments section. Mm. Definitely. Yo. Because that Doggy Style, hard. even the, when they just talking, the, the interlude is hard. Yeah, people. the bathtub. Yeah, that's just hard. Even open the track, the shit, man. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, 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 what, what, mm, the, mm, the twenty dollars sack pyramid. Oh, oh, that's the chronic. On, that's on the chronic. Yeah, yeah. the chronic. Um, damn, that's man. on fucking um, freestyle on death row. Standing on death row. That beat is hard. I'm not riding. Let's I'm ride. Rider, you don't want to fuck with me. Yeah. <laughs> let me ride. Yeah. Let me ride. But the, I mean, oh, I was, I was, I, I was oh, gonna no, pick, man, I was gonna pick the EPMD album only for one reason. Because. He's supposed to buy it. No, nah. because that song, that album is more R and B. It seemed like they more sample driven R and B. Like or a band, like they had like the, you know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't off the record, yeah. programmed in the fucking yeah. SB 1200 and then yeah, that kind of shit. shit. That shit pop to me. Not saying rocking out with a live band ain't hip hop. I'm just yeah, saying. yeah. Because you, no one gonna tell me the roots ain't hip hop. Oh yeah, you can't. Yeah, Especially you know, black dog feel yeah. like your favorite rapper. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Oh, that's another group. Exactly. <laughs> that, I was just about to say that's they probably group. outside, like outside the Wu Tang Clan, my favorite, like my second favorite rap group ever. Oh, you gotta have to bring that up, man. With your top, top five groups. It's Run DMC. Oh. It's Wu Tang Clan. It's N.W.A. It's a Tribe Called Quest. It's leaders of the new school. Oh, Buster? One album, man. I know you and you know me. You ever hear the South Story? Uh, they talk I about how, when they talk about a song they got called South Story where not even that. It's just another case of that OPT. Hey, that's uh, that shit. Yo, go check that shit out. Go check that. That is crusty hip hop. I thought you would have brought up the Grave Diggers. No. Before that, cause they. They was okay, but they was like. Uh, That's Rizzo's second group. 
Yeah, I, I can still, <laughs> still consider them part of that Wu Tang. Yeah. Throw that nigga side. You you know what we saying? Wu Tang's up there. You know, we watching this uh, Mike the Men right now. He's my favorite rapper out the Wu, the genius. He's just super smart, yo. This nigga eating good, yo. You can tell, nigga, his neck getting fat. Like Dirty Jizz and Rizzo are cousins, so they had a bunch of routines. Let me tell you about yeah. the genius. Yo, I have a style of my own. My hands are like vice grips holding a microphone. Genius, Red. Mom's out of the front. No box bus, I can't get them. <coughs> There's a lot of ballad, man. Yeah. Walking, walking from borough to borough, looking for MCs. Balance. So those, that's your fire? Mm-hmm. We, you know, we What's yours? Since he's in New York, so we was in there. It was oh, a hunger man. to be married. Our Wu Tang is in there. Once we seen these two brothers, the jizz in the rhythm. I forgot about them. You God damn it, man! Lies. Those ones are the ones that are the ones that I was just bringing up a lot of people that a lot of like a lot of groups that a lot of people yeah. forgot. First, before I talk about the obvious ones, mm -hmm. so like Fox, I, I'm going to Slaughterhouse, Slaughterhouse is one of my favorites. Um, Ron for Ron, who's winning? Wu Tang or Slaughterhouse? Oh, come on, man. Ow, that'd be a hot battle, dude. But it's eight niggas, <laughs> now it's eight, nine niggas. It's against four. Hey man, Chris Rivers got that kind of rock rap style. No, 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 Chris Rivers is fucking nasty, yo. Pun son? He's fucking nasty. He can fucking probably put some fear in nigga in his head. Like, Chris Rivers is nice. Oh, yeah. he like, can, he, can split, he can switch flows. He can do a whole, a whole album on the freestyle. I think he outrapped Ghostface on his own song. Like on the on the new Ghostface album. That shit was hard. I was like, wait, what? That shit was hard. Just like uh damn groups. I think I would say G Unit. Just because I grew up on them. Yeah. I grew up on G Unit. Yes. They they was hot, man, you know what I'm saying? Yes, but I mean, I grew up on Dipset as well. Yeah, they up there, because they got hits. They got hits. Yeah, they got hit hits, man. And they got pretty good albums. Mm -hmm. and, shit. and they spawned some good career, solo careers mm -hmm. and shit from there. Like when, like, when I was coming up, like, in middle school, elementary, like, them niggas was running shit. Yeah. You, you, you start seeing genius and sneakers and stuff. Yeah, shit. niggas got their own clothing line, nigga. Yeah. Like, that's some, like, like, that's why I gotta, like, you gotta respect 50, though, because, like. Damn, like, it's smart. That nigga came in right to the, like, first album blew up. Then he put the crew on. Then after the crew, you got the, the shoes, the clothing line. Then this nigga, then they do the solo crew albums after that. Huh? And shit. Like. There's only one other person in business in rap is smarter than 50. It's that nigga Rizzo. Yeah, I was about to say that, man. That's the that's only it. one. That playing nigga is crazy. Every other rap group tried to do what Wu Tang did. With the whole Jocko Group album, and everybody do solo shit. I know. Because Wu Tang had a cool line, too. Yep. They had a video game. Yep. <laughs> like, style and shit. Yeah, with the PlayStation. Mm -hmm. That's the, I remember that shit. And they were like, Wu -Tang, yeah, Wu Tang was doing it, like, as far as, like, the whole worldwide global shit. Mm -hmm. Like, Locks was more local. Like, a lot of niggas fuck with Locks. But, like, but New York really fuck with Locks. Mm -hmm. You might get some Cali niggas to fuck with them. I remember. Styles got fans anyway. Yeah. Styles and Jada Kiss. Yeah. That nigga slow. Crazy. <laughs> Like, them niggas got paid because they're respected, like, everywhere in hip hop world. Mm -hmm. And shit. Sheik is still underrated. Sheik is nasty. He's underrated. Yeah, like, like he'll give it to you, nigga. Just from times on the track, nigga, he go harder than Jada and Styles. Like, like, Sheik is nasty. He's the only nigga whose flow can speed up. Yeah, he got a, he got this album called Silver Bell Girls. Or is that, or is that, or is that the mixtape? Nah, that's the album. I love you. Dog, dog, that's a dope fucking Thanks for album. Yeah, man, nah, that shit was dope. Bro. That's a dope album. The Donnie G shit, nah, he got some good shit, bro, man. Them niggas is nasty. Like, nobody want B 
people lie. Nobody, even now, niggas don't want to focus on niggas. I'm all deep. I, I cannot forget that. I never listen to rap. I hate it. I just don't like it. That run, man. I never did. All the debut albums was fire. I like the Lloyd Banks album. Yeah, man. Hunger for more, man. man I love that shit was hard. Shit. Hunger for more, the documentary, games all, matching classic. Yeah. Uh, Young Bucks album was good, straight out of Tazville. Yeah. That shit had some heaters. Yeah, I, Even Yayo's album was a little tolerable. Yeah. You know he's ass. Yeah, I can rap better than Yayo and shit. I, I, tell you, I tell you what though. We this is New York niggas say this shit. Yeah, I know I can. You know what I'm saying? He's <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga, I know on my soul. Yeah, I, know I can, can rap better than Yayo. Yeah, I can. Now, hey, but yo, I'm just saying, they they all from the same community as, as yeah, me, the and, and I, I I was just happy to see brothers brothers from Queens doing it. They call their crew no. all in together now. Rizza yeah, that's facts, man, and, and they play they glow wide, glow. Mm -hmm. I I won't even live. Oh, no. Yo, I remember Common, Nas, Q-Tip, and I think Black Thought were going to make a rap group. That would be a hard-ass group, and the production would have to be crazy. Yeah. You know, Prima got some tracks on there, Lots of Pepper, No ID. I would have put together Nas' the second album. And it came out way better than the, than the shit that it came out. Even oh, though, uh, yeah. even though, I'm, yeah. even though I'm like totally satisfied with it was written, but yeah, yeah, I think I could have put it together better. I done went to the Rizza, give me four. I done went back to the Lost Professor, give me three. From here, give me seven. Yeah. And I just went from there. Q yeah. said, give me a couple. I done went Gangsta. to like, yeah, I done just said all them gangsta beats that Guru did and use. I went back. Have you ever listened to the group on my album? Oh, man. It's called, huh? it's called Living Proof. I, got to to it. I heard about it, but I got to listen about it. I got to listen to it. Press play and read it, the whole thing. It starts with the interlude. For me, just get them niggas beat. Like, the beat that he was giving them, yeah. I was like, what happened to that for the guru? You should have given yeah, that the yeah, guru. Yeah, like, that's your man. He's like, you got you to gotta play. Even though, even though... The beats that he was giving Guru were yeah. all dope. Yeah, yeah of course. Like, I've never, I heard, never heard a bad beat from Primo. Never. Uh, like he has, he has like songs that I, I mean not like. I some beats that are so so. No, I mean all of them shit's are dope. It's just like what Colin like. Like I like a funky bass line. Yeah. I like a hard ass 808 in the background. Yeah. Maybe a horn. Okay. Just, you know what I'm saying? Like you like the smooth. Jazzy shit. No, I like I like that shit too. I like it rough, like ah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. like uh, cold of the streets. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Egg to the next. Yeah. Uh, 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 you don't know where you going. Um, uh, um, uh, you don't know where you going. Uh, 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 damn it. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, I forget. You don't know where you going. With you lost. Fuck that nigga go, but it was just a dope yeah. ass song, man. Those times, absolutely. Mm. absolutely. Yeah, yes. Like, that I fucking dog food album is shit. Oh my god, man! Fuck? I love that album, man. What? I still listen fuck? to it to this day. That you know, caught the Holy Ghost. I smoke to that shit, man, all the time. Yo, know, that album is so hard, man. These are still moments that are just etched in my brain for hours. Rough. Fucking savage, nigga. Yo, you heard about the, uh, the Four Horsemen? For the Five Horsemen? Yeah. No, Four Horsemen. Man, I'm fucking dead. This is stupid. I got nothing for love for you, baby. <laughs> nothing but love. That's what the, the whitest one was sitting there stiff. The uh, savage uh, thing. Uh, yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that movie, man. Well, I know, sir. Right if I get this? Yo, but um, now nah, Four Horsemen is fucking um, corrupt, cannabis, uh, rascals. Yeah, nigga, it's just right 
way that's one solid. One nigga, man, I forget his name. Fuck. Yeah, I think New York is like. I know Feral Munch is on that shit too. Feral Munch. He's nice. Yo, he's fucking nasty, nigga. He's nasty as fuck. Yo, you know what? We gotta have a discussion, man. One of uh, one of these episodes, we gotta talk about Jeff Burrows. Like who would win? Oh, in the rap? Yeah. Yeah, we gotta we gotta have we gotta have a fucking discussion about that, bro. We gotta do that another time. Yeah, we yeah, save save my nigga, save 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 my nigga. Mm. Ah, shit. Am I leaving any other groups out? Because I feel like I'm leaving other groups out. Uh, I'm not saying Migos yet. Oh, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Bone Thugs and Harmony. I know I'm forgetting somebody. Um, Compton Mo. Oh, the Ghetto Boys. Oh, see? Starface. I'm sorry. sorry. I bad. forgot all about you, nigga, man. Sorry. My bad. Before niggas kill us. Yeah. You be like, how could you forget him? Yeah, man. How could you forget them? Uh, UGK.
Get the shit out them niggas, boy. That, Yo, that first that album, was Spain. Bow Down, was just fucking crazy. You know what I'm saying? We got that. Yeah. Yo, nigga. They spent Yo, the most ass. of that album dissing niggas.
Smoke weed every day.